Hi, this is John Canalopoulos from our center here in Athens, Greece, the Laser Vision Amateur Surgery Center. It's really a pleasure to share with you today some very exciting data on our favorite subject, keratoconus. And this is a young lady that we had done, I personally had done a cornea transplant over 20 years. This is, these, those were the first years I was traveling from New York to Greece. And this is her picture five months ago. We can see that we have very high astigmatism, 24 diopters. Mm -hmm. And uh, the question is here, how we treat this astigmatism on the graft? I'll go and uh, see, look at the uh, endothelial cells. Of course, 20 years later, the cell count is under 1,000, but the graft is relatively clear. We're gonna see the graft-host junction here and see how the junction has thinned. And we're looking at the infranasal, this is the left eye aspect with the uh, OptiView anterior segment OCT. And of course, the question here is whether you regraft the patient. A laser procedure with thinned ectatic uh, interface in the lower six hours, in my opinion, is not the optimal. We've described this, we presented this. So what we essentially did is we resutured the inferior aspect of the cornea by opening up the incision almost to decimates membrane instilling 2.5% of riboflavin. And after resuturing these lower six clock hours, we cross-linked with higher fluence the cornea. And we were able to achieve this difference. We went from here, and this picture is from uh, the end of 2021, in May of uh, 22. So we're five to six months later, we achieved this. And you can see how effective this resuturing with adjunct higher fluence, higher riboflavin CXL is able to reshape the transplant host interface and have this tremendous flattening effect and the normalization of the cornea. So we went from an uncorrected 2400 to an uncorrected 2080, and with correction, we're already at uh, 2025. Um, we still have high astigmatism from the sutures, but we'll wait a little bit more before we take them up because we certainly don't want this area to become ectatic again. So in summary, this is our technique of uh, resuturing a graft that uh, in other circumstances and for many cornea transplant surgeons has finished its uh, duty. But in essence here, we're able to revive the visual rehabilitation from that same, if I can use the term old graft, uh, and regift uh, good visual acuity and function to the patient. Of course, reiterate that the problem was created by eye rubbing that continued after the transplant. And we know now that that was the reason that the cornea turned ectatic to begin with. Hope you found this interesting. This is John Kanalopoulos from our center here in Athens, Greece, signing out.